everyone, it's Liam with Lovely Scrappin. I'm here with a really quick video showing you um, a couple things I've made for a DT project for Cassie, um, her store, Flip a Can of Two on Artfire. So be sure to check her out, you guys. She's got amazing prices and really amazing products. So be sure to check her out. And um, she's constantly restocking. She does sell out quick and a lot of things are um, limited. So be sure um, to stock her store and grab things while you can. I know that she was sold out of the rosette trim for a while, but I, um, she mentioned she's going to be getting some more in. So check her out, you guys. Um, so these are some hair accessories I made for my daughter. I'm using the rosette trim for this one. For the flower center, some of you may have seen um, Jennings 644's tutorial, and I just love, love her tutorial and the idea on making um, a cluster of beads like this um, and then using some bling. And so Cass does have mesh bling um, in her store. I think she restocked some, so check her out again. And I just cut some strips to use as the... Um, you know, the little accent pieces in between the beads and then added a recollection center. And I know she, I think she was selling some recollection stuff there. Um, she may have sold out again, so you got to check her out, you guys. Um, and then the rosette trim, I'm all out of the pink now, but um, it does come in different colors. And this is the white and the ivory. So I use the white and the um, pink for this one. And I actually just made this um, like a hair clip. So I've used a clip I had and I added ribbon to it to kind of cover up the back. And it can slide into the hair. It can slide onto headbands like I've done with this one. I made it a clip too. So it can be a headband um, on its own or it can just slide in as a little um, hair piece. It can even accent a purse or it can accent a shirt like a blouse or you know all those little trendy flower rosette flowers um, that a lot of the clothes are having on nowadays. So you can, it's one of those multi-purpose type of items. So for this one here and I used the Tim Holtz um, tattered floral die and I used this one, two of these and one of these to make this flower and of course as you can tell I used the white pink and white and then for the center this is one of the new items Cassie has in her store and I had to buy some oh my gosh and she also threw some in my kit um, they're these and they're on stems like this and they're organza pink and white and then this pearl spray in the center and you can do so many fun things with these I love them so as soon as I got them I'm like oh, I have to use it right away so I used it as the center for a flower and then I used I just uh, bought, and this is just a tip you guys, if you want to buy headbands, I went to my dollar store, bought a pack of five, and they came in like multicolor tacky, like this was um, on top of it, right, it's in, um, this tubing, um, and there was like multi tacky colors, and I really didn't like these, so what I did, and I made sure that I could cut, cut these off and slide them off and use the headbands. Um, for whatever I wanted and you can always save this as a template for the length and the width what, whatever you want to make your own little cover for your headband so anyway I bought for a dollar five and I have five of these black ones that I can use so I altered it by wrapping ribbon this is just some white satin ribbon I wrapped around it and then added some of this gorgeous trim along there and then I mean you can decorate your headband however you want and I really like how this looked um, with this flower so again you can have the flower wherever on the headband you want on the side center whatever I kind of like it on the side and then again I mean if I wanted to add this one to it I could but I like the way the, um, the white accents this headband a little bit more and this can just be a head uh, this can go on a different headband if I want or just in her hair so just a really quick accessory idea you guys using some of these fabulous products in Cassie's store I love 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 these flowers and she's got new satin ones too you got you got to check them out I don't have any yet but check out her store before they sell out and um, you can do so many fun things fun hair accessories so I'm kind of going crazy making hair accessories for my daughter in the hopes that one day she'll wear them <laughs> my fingers are crossed okay you guys go check out Cass I'll put the links below thanks so much for watching and I'll also put the link um, below to Jennings 644's tutorial um, on how to do this little center with the beads it's so much fun uh, it's pretty straightforward but if you want to check um, out how she does it then um, I'll put the link below thanks everybody for watching take care happy scrapping bye